Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic with reference to the status of our country. That is integrated pest management control. As Pakistan is an agricultural country, so we can get benefit from the agricultural aspect of the country. The population of a country is truly dependent on the food resources of that country. So there is need to adopt strategies and planning and management tool to preserve the healthy food at its maximum. So let's see what is Integrated Pest Management which is abbreviated as IPM. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization, FAO of the United Nation, Integrated Pest Management means cons considering all available pest control techniques and other measurements that discourage the development of a pest population while minimizing risk to human health and to the environment. For farmers, integrated pest management is the best combination of culture, biological and chemical measures to manage diseases, insects, weeds and other pests. It takes into account all relevant control tactics and methods that are locally evaluate, available, evaluating their potential cost effectiveness. Integrated pest management does not, however, consist of any absolute or rigid criteria. It is a flexible system that makes good use of local resources and the latest research, technology, knowledge and experience. Ultimately, integrated pest management is a site specific strategy for managing pests in the most cost effective environmentally sound and socially accepted way. Implementation of integrated pest management lies with farmers who adopt practices they view as practical and valuable to their activities. So an important part is played by the integrated pest management. The demand of the growing world population for food and fiber requires farmers to produce more crops on existing farmlands. To increase these yields requires continuous improvement of agricultural technologies to minimize crop loss. The challenge is to do this while protecting the environment. Integrated pest management is a big part of the solution. Increasingly, it is being adopted in both developed and developing countries for long-term sustainable agriculture that achieves adequate, safe and quality food production, improves farmers' livelihood and conserves non-renewable resources. So, there are effective benefits of integrated pest management. Integrated pest management provides multiple benefits for society and the environment. It is a vital for the long-term future of the plant science industry. Number one, it improved crop profitability due to better pest control measures and appropriate use of 
crop protection products number 2 stable reliable and quality crop yields number 3 decrease severity of the pests infections number 4 reduce potentials for problem of pest resistance number 6 increased consumer confidence in the safety and quality of a food and fiber products crop protection companies that integrate integrated pest management principles into market and customer support for their products also stand to benefit from number 1 sustained market shares and assess number 2 less risk of restrictions or deregistration number 3 new opportunity for established and novel products techniques and services next is the longer product life cycles decreased resistance of pest to crop protection products and biotech plants increased public confidence in and credibility of the crop protection industry this figure shows the integrated pest management components integrated pest management requires competence in three areas number 1 is the prevention number 2 is the monitoring number 3 is the intervention or in other words we can say that integrated pest management based on these three tools so first of all what is a prevention prevent the build up of pest including a range of practical strategy that suit local conditions this is the prevention on the other hand monitoring monitor crops for both pest and natural control mechanism involves scouting for pest insect disease and weeds to determine if when and how intervention should occur so the next is, is the intervention intervene when when control measures are needed involves physical biological and chemical methods to preserve the economy value of crops with minimal effect on the environment now let's see the depth of the prevention to which extent it can help us many aspects of crop management are designed to prevent initial outbreaks of insects diseases or weeds recently we have heard about the attack of the insects that is the tidal in our crops the army of these insects has spoiled and spoiling our crops continuously to the threshold level so there is need of a practical strategy to combat with this disaster practical strategies can be combined and optimized for an integrated pest management program the goal is to prevent pest population from building up to economically damaged levels first is the crop location growing crops in location where they are best suit to climate soil and topography provides them with optimal conditions from the start appropriate land preparation builds on these conditions variety selection choosing beneficial crop variety such as those with disease and pest resistance 
has always been a cornerstone of integrated pest management. These varieties can be derived from traditional crossbreeding or modern biotechnology. Pest resistant and herbicide tolerant varieties, for example, may reduce the need for other crop protection measures. Biotech crop can also facilitate reduced or no-till practices, helping to maintain soil health and prevent erosion. Strategic planting and crop rotation. Planting similar crops alongside each other can substantially increase pets and should be avoided if possible. Traditionally, some farmers sow different crops in alternate rows or under sow a crop like maize with a legume such as cowpea to help improve soil fertility and reduce weeds. Some system can help reduce pest. Growing different crops in rotation also helps reduce the building up of pests, especially those in the soil such as root feeding insects and fungi. Rotation can reduce weed problems and increase the range of weed control methods that can be used. Soil management is another important aspect. Mechanical, physical and cultural crop protection methods prevent or minimize pests as well as reduce their building up and carry over from one crop to another. For example, traditional plowing, tillage, turns the soil and buries crop residue and weeds before the seed bed is prepared for the next crop. However, tillage has led to increased erosion as well as loss of soil moisture and organic matter. In many countries, there has been a trend towards reducing tillage and using herbicide tolerant biotech crops. This has led to increased practice of direct drilling in Europe and no till in the United States and Canada. As a result, soil erosion problem has been greatly reduced. Water management is the life of the plant. Supplying water to crops is essential to plant health, but it can greatly influence pest incidence and impact. Irrigation may be required, especially in dry areas or with crops that require a lot of moisture. But while flood irrigating, some crops such as lowland rice can control weeds. It is wasteful of water and can adversely affect beneficial soil organisms. Methods to combat these risks and conserve water include drip irrigation, and growing crops on bridges or raised beds. Optimizing plant nutrition. Different soil types contain different amounts of nutrients. At harvest, nutrients are removed with the crop from the soil. In order to maintain or improve soil fertility 
these nutrients have to be replaced with mineral and or organic fertilizers these products must be applied at the right time in the correct amount to optimize soil health new plant varieties with more efficient uptake of nutrients should be considered next is the harvesting and storage carry over of weed seeds and disease causing organisms can be reduced with good harvesting seed cleaning and storage methods preserving biodiversity protecting natural habitats near farm land is the best way to conserve biodiversity including many natural pest enemies careful management of farm land edges including trees and hedges is important for wildlife habitats providing cover and refuge for beneficial insects and animals for example field bunks in rice paddies provide refuge for predatory spiders that help control several insects monitoring is very important after taking all measures observing crops determines if when and what action should be taken to maximize crop production and quality decision making tools range from backboards to computers and trained local experts to remote sensing technologies getting real time information on what is happening in the field is ideal management of any crop requires routine inspection to assess how well plants are growing and what actions need to be taken from seeding to harvest walking through a field involves scouting for pets and distinguish them from known pests and beneficial insects tools like pheromone traps diagnostics and forecasting systems can assist with such monitoring in a timely and accurate way integrated pest management often requires collaborative decision and effort within a specific geography to provide effective control of pests some of these decision and efforts need to be taken by national governments in relation to quarantine re- regulation and legislation provision and training of advisory surface and strategies for control of highly mobile pets like locust geographic information system and remote sensing techniques can also assist in area wide management intervention reducing economically damaging pests to acceptable level may involve cultural physical biological and chemical control measures individually or in combination cost benefits timing labor force and equipment as well as economic environmental and social impacts 
all have to be taken into consideration cultural and physical methods these techniques such as weed control by tractor cultivation or disease control by removing infected plant debris should be assessed for their impact on plant roots and yields as well as their requirements for labor and energy also the possibility of integrating cultural techniques with the careful use of crop protection products should be explored for example instead of replacing manual weeding entirely with herbicides hoeing may be used in conjunction with them biological control research on nature's own method of pest control is yielding new products and methods that can be used in integrated pest management program many of these require similar technical expertise as crop protection products in relation to formulation field application and resistance management these controls include introducing beneficial insects or predators applying microorganisms such as viruses fungi and bacteria and using pheromones to lure it, trap and kill or interfere with insects mating habits using beneficial insects to control pest works best when crops are grown in controlled environment like greenhouses and plastic tunnels these are cases when control techniques with living organisms are successful in open field conditions such as using predatory mites against spider mites however biological control products are usually only efficient at low pest intensities and other inventions are often required bacteria fungi nematodes or viruses have also been mass produced to control some pests the most common and successful is bacillus thuringiensis a naturally occurring bacterium which has been used to control several important pests For example, caterpillar pest in vegetable, vineyard and orchards. With modern biotechnology, crops like corn and cotton can now express the insect toxin produced by this natural control agent, delivering it more effectively. Finally the development and availability of insect pheromones and their behavior modifying chemicals often farmers the possibility of number 1 selective trapping techniques to monitor the movement of pest or changes in their population during the season number 2 lure and kill strategies to attract the pest to insecticides deposits and to reduce the need for all over crop spraying number 3 matting disruption that slows population built up to delay or reduce the need for control treatments biotechnology 
also has considerable potential to contribute to integrated pest management. One focus of research has been on mass production of microorganisms that cause disease in insect pests and weeds or compete with plant disease causing organisms. The second and most rapid expanding area of biotechnology for pest control has been the development of crop varieties resistant to pest and disease and or tolerant to herbicides. These varieties incorporate insects or disease resistance within the plant for accurate and timely delivery of an active ingredient. Chemical control Chemical crop protection products that is the pesticides are biologically active chemicals that control a range of insects and vertebrate pests, disease and weeds. They are often the most cost effective way of controlling infestation as a part of an integrated pest management strategy. Today's crop protection products are the result of more than 50 years of research, development and field experience around the world by the plant science industry. Before crop protection products are released in the market, they are thoroughly tested for their safety, usefulness and effectiveness. When sold, they are labeled with explicit use instructions. To get the most out of these products, they must be applied correctly. Responsible use and good handling practices limit potential pesticides residues in crops and the environment as well as help avoid pests. Improved application techniques and equipment such as reduced drift nozzles and sports spraying help farmers protect untreated residues, for example, hedgerows and field margins, and natural habitats for wildlife and pest animals. The timing of treatment, season and time of day, as well as the type of products used are also critical factors. Sample the environment for pest population. After the pest has been correctly identified, monitoring must begin before it becomes a problem. Sampling and monitoring methodologies must be designed and tested to provide the ability for assessing instantaneous and dynamic aspects of the pest density, activity or incidence. Understanding how the environment affects pest and crop development is very important. Understanding interactions with the environment allows crop advisors to react to changing conditions, environmental influence like drought, stress influences, pest management recommendations. When a crop is under stress, it can be less capable of dealing with the stress caused by insects that exact 
plant sap, for example, aphids, leaf hoppers, and this stress may slightly lower the economic threshold. Weed populations, which would not normally cause an economic loss, may do so under drought conditions when they compete with the crop for limited waters. The weather is notorious for affecting pest development and survival. Certain weather patterns may affect weed, seed, germination and explain why certain weeds are more abandoned during wet fall or springs.